hey y'all how y'all doing i am b simone and welcome to my channel i just wanted to come and do a quick little intro for my whip shea butter video um i did it on instagram a few months ago and people were like well can you send it to me or text it to me so i can save it and use it for later so i said you know what just make a youtube video so that's what i did so if you like what you see and you attempt let me know i have some pointers and some tips for making it better for next time if you mess up your first time but yeah so stay tuned and thank you for watching okie dokie let's get right into this so the shea butter i am using is the regular regular shea butter that you can find at your beauty supply store everything that i use you can find at the beauty supply store except the avocado oil so i'm just scooping it out i ended up using the rest of a 32 ounce container i got um i think i got maybe three batches of shea butter out of it which i think is good and this last batch i used and i gave to people as gifts and y'all will see that at the end so yeah so i put it in this double boil situation we have a little bit of water at the bottom of the pot and then i have this deep bowl sitting inside of the pot using a little what is it convection heat to let the shea butter melt down because when it melts down, it's easier to add your oils. And then you will see what happens next. But I love this time lapse. It is very, very satisfying to my spirit. <laughs> it took maybe about 10 minutes max, that's being very generous, to boil, well not to boil, to melt the shea butter down. And I have my stove on medium heat. And one thing I really like about this bowl that I use to melt it down in is that it has those lips or those edges that sits on top of the pot and it helps you take it out easier without getting hit by the steam. Like I hit a little bit, but it's better than having a bowl floating in the water in this scorching hot because it's been boiling. So yeah, so I'm just stirring it up now. Moving my stuff around, and you see <laughs> the steam caught me a little bit. But now, here we go to the next step. So, next, you want to add your oils. So, I did sweet almond oil, kindy oil, cocoa butter oil, and the rest of what's left in this big old thing avocado oil. I poured all those in there and I'm just mixing it up. As you can see, they are going to marry now that I've stirred them. And I'm going to pour this into the mixing bowl because I'm about to freeze this whole shea butter oil mixture. And it's easier to freeze it in the bowl you're going to mix it in so you don't have to do the scooping and the transferring. That's just too much. So freezing it in a mixing bowl is beautiful. Very easy. So I let it freeze for about an hour. I like the consistency of where you squish it. You have, you can see a little indentation, but it's not gushy mushy. It's solid. I'm going to scrape the sides of the bowl to get it up off of there for the first whipping. I'm gonna lock my mixer and I kind of go back and forth between medium and high speed on this and you're gonna have to keep scraping the sides but that's fine just help you make sure everything is evenly whipped yes I put it on high speed and this whip shea butter because you are whipping the shea butter some people didn't know that but yes you have to whip your shea butter I love the stand mixer because it's easy and I don't have to hold it. Okay, so I'm going to add this extra virgin olive oil because I can see that my mixture is not whipped enough. It's not loose enough. It's too much shea butter to the oil ratio. And when it's like that, it's going to be too hard once you put it in your container. 
So add a little bit more oil if you need to, to make sure that it is looser and it's fluffy because you want a consistency like this, almost like, I don't know, like frosting kind of. You'll know when you got it right and you will know when you have it wrong. <laughs> my first batch of this sucked, but my second and third batch, beautiful. Third and fourth, actually. So now that it's done, I'm taking it out. And I got these cute little amber jars from Amazon. I got a 12 pack for maybe like 10 ish something dollars. And they're eight ounces. And I'm going to use this ice cream scooper to scoop it up and plop it in now. And I'm going to use, I got these because I, were, I was giving them or giving these little samples to friends and family who, is, who have asked me to make them some shea butter. So yes. And to help get it to go in and down, even in a bigger container, you can knock the container against the counter. And this is just what I look like. Very greasy, very moisturized once I put it on. I love this for me. And if you make it, I love it for you. And this is the final product. Thank you all for watching.